And welcome back. We start off with mostly sunny skies across the region and then turn mostly cloudy as you can see outside right now in our sky cam. High temperatures did reach the lower 80s. We are there right now. We got that southerly wind at 15 to 30 miles per hour. So a little breezy out there. Dew point at 52. A little more moisture in the atmosphere too. There's your 81 at North Platte. But we're into the upper 70s at Ogallala and Lexington. 82 at Broken Bow and 76 at Imperial up toward Thedford at 78 degrees, but we do have that wind mainly from a southerly direction. Wind speeds right now 15 to 20 miles per hour, so, so starting to get a little breezy as that southerly wind is pumping in that warm air. As for the cloud cover, mainly from North Platte and points off to the south and west, we do have mostly cloudy skies, a few peaks of sunshine north and east. We are staying mainly dry. Most of the active weather right now in our region is into portions of eastern and northeastern Colorado. We've had some severe weather out toward the Torrington in Kimball, Pine Bluffs area, but it looks like most of the moisture now is uh, off to our south. We have severe thunderstorm warnings and even tornado warnings into the uh, eastern portion of the state of Colorado. These look to be moving off to the east into Kansas. We have that severe thunderstorm watch out in that direction. Some of this activity could get into our viewing area as we go through later on tonight. So let's take a look at the national map. We do have a bunch of low pressure systems that are going to affect us. That'll keep at least the chance of some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast over the next several days. So let's take a look at that sky cast out there. First off, we have that severe weather outlook uh, out toward the Kimball Sydney area points off to the south, a slight risk of severe weather. For tonight, the uh, marginal risk, meaning one or two severe storms possible, uh, does stop at around Lincoln County. So if you're in Ogallala, Grant Imperial could have some strong storms to make our way through the evening. Going into tomorrow, we have a marginal risk of severe weather for most of the viewing area. So for that's your Saturday night. And then into Sunday, the marginal risk, meaning one or two severe storms, is going to be south of Lincoln County. County, basically along the Kansas border. So we can't rule out that we're not going to get some strong to severe storms. We go through the next three evenings, but it doesn't look like there's going to be a big event in our area. So we're tracking the storms off to our west uh, by around, say, 9 or 10 p.m. They could get to around Lincoln County, the North Platte area, but they look to dissipate afterwards. So we'll keep that chance of some showers and storms in our forecast. Then as we go through uh, your Saturday, start off with sunshine warming up in the lower 80s. Shower and thunderstorm chances again into the evening. This model says they're mainly going to be off to our east, but that could change as we go through the next overnight period. And then again on Sunday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, highs in the upper 70s, showers and storms developing into the uh, afternoon and evening. That is going to be the case. We have these lows riding along the jet stream. The fronts cross our viewing area every once in a while, then they head back off to the north. Another low for Sunday into Monday. So there's your active weather pattern. If a frontal boundary is over us, we do have that chance of some showers and thunderstorms, and we keep it in the forecast through most of the next week. 83 tomorrow, 76 Sunday and Monday. We have a much better chance of rain Monday night into Tuesday. And then we have a, actually a, a little sunshine for the day on Wednesday, low to mid 70s still. Another chance of some showers and storms Thursday evening. Back to partly cloudy skies Friday, warming into the mid to upper 70s by this time next week. Kent? All right, so once again, keeping track of that rain, although, like you said, maybe uh, missing North Platte or maybe not uh, kind of dissipating before it gets here. Yeah, we'll see if it actually does get to here. All right, thanks so much, Justin. And coming up, college baseball regionals get underway tonight. And